Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Stress Less Career Show. I'm super, super excited to have a guest today, our very, very first guest, Susan Padron. Um, she is a personal stylist here in Philly. Um, she's amazing. We've worked together, uh, goodness, I don't even know how many times now, um, on partnering on different projects. And um, yeah, so Susan, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm honored to, you know, be your, your first guest on your new show and just happy to, always happy to chat with you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So um, as you know, this month is really the month of personal branding. Um, and so I thought uh, for everyone who's watching that we, that Susan would be an amazing, um, you know, uh, resource for you in terms of how do you create your personal brand? Um, it's not just your website, it's not just your social media, but it's also how you show up in the world. So um, I'm curious, Susan, what your thoughts on, are on this whole, the whole personal brand and how, how style plays into it. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, you're spot on, Carly, about how like your brand is everything that you are. You know, it's like the whole package. It's not just you know, like your business being a separate entity from, you know, you as a business owner. I think especially with entrepreneurs, when people are looking to hire an entrepreneur or sole business owner, they're looking at the whole package. So a lot of that is your, your style, your personal style and your image. Um, so I work with a lot of business owners um, and just a lot of people that are focusing on their individual brand and how how they can define it and so much of it is like how their personality and how they view themselves and how they want to be viewed can come through in their clothing whether it's through like specific styles or um, certain colors or patterns and and all of that yeah, it's funny. I, I'm like now becoming realizing I'm like, oh, I should have put on my, you know, my fancy blazer today for our conversation. If I was going to wear it, I um, should have worn it today. But it's true. Um, we've had these conversations about, you know, how, uh, how you should show up. I mean, there's lots of examples, right, where um, it's like an example of uh, that's coming to mind right now. It's like a yoga instructor sh showing up and like a a full like tuxedo suit like that doesn't seem right it's out of alignment with your personal brand um and i'm always thinking about that with the way i dress when i do speaking engagements and i'm putting myself out in the world is how can how can my creativity i know we talk about that a lot like how can my quirkiness and weirdness and creativity show up mm -hmm. um and so how what are your what are your tips susan or recommendations and figuring out like how do I, like, what are the characteristics of my personal brand and how do I pull them out in my clothing? Yeah, I think that the first step is really being able to identify those aspects of your personality that you want to come through. Like, I love that you identified with your creativity and your quirkiness and all of that, you know, because that is what you can really hone in on and figure out how much of that do you want to show off today or tomorrow or for that speaking engagement? Um, because, you know, you can choose to, you know, sometimes when you might have those more like extroverted days where you're like, yes, I want to just show up and I want people to know that I have this create, uh, creative side, like, and just put it out there in your entire outfit. Sometimes you might be feeling like a little bit more introverted, but you still want that like, bit of Carly coming through. So that's when you can kind of throw that creativity in with an accessory instead. Mm. But that's a really interesting thought because I'm sitting here thinking, you're right, like I wore like I wore this lovely sweater today because I was thinking comfort, warmth, like that's also part of who I am. And um, I like that's one of my beliefs in terms of showing up in who as you are. Yeah. Um, but that is a piece where you're accessories is a really great tip for, uh, for especially for me because no earrings nothing you know nothing happening right now but that would really be an easy way for me to say um and for all of us to say okay I want to be uh, I want to be more chill in my in my attire but I also want to fit that, that mold that I'm creating yeah, yeah. And Carly I know you can relate to this too with having made a like dramatic hair change recently yourself <laughs> you know, I as you know and your viewers might not like that I did the same thing you know where my haircut my hairstyle are 
are now part of my brand. Like before when my hair was shoulder length and brown and like no color and like some style, but nothing crazy. Um, I felt like I could go into, you know, like personal stylist incognito and like kind of hide. And, you know, if I didn't feel like being really dressed up or stylish, then I could kind of blend in a little bit. And then I hit a point in my business where I said, no, like, I don't, I don't want to blend in. I never want to blend in. Like mm. I may not always want to stand out, but I always want to be able to walk into a room and have people say, yeah, of course you're a personal stylist. Like, or yeah, definitely you're a personal stylist. And that's the same kind of approach that every everyone who's focusing on branding wants to apply to themselves you know it doesn't have to be as like extreme as you know going for a really chic haircut like you did (laughs) but don't um, have to chop all your hair off i promise (laughs) exactly but you know it's important to think about things like a haircut that you can have within your branding every day, even if you are just wearing like a more toned down, comfortable sweater, your branding's still there and who you are is still there with, you know, your fun haircut. Yeah, it's interesting. And I, I, you know, that's something that I don't even think we think about too, is I know when I was in, in the workforce and when I first, I'm trying to think when I got my haircut, but when I, uh, when I first made that transition um, to work for myself full time, I w- always had the bun. I had really long hair, always in a bun. Yeah. And, um, you know, there was a point where I felt self-conscious about it. Like, I never thought, like, growing up, and because um, it was always that way since I was, like, four and it came out of the womb, you know, <laughs> there was a bun. Um, but I never thought I was ever going to feel a certain way about it. Um, but I didn't feel like I was fitting. First of all, I felt like I was not showing up my best self. I was being lazy. Um, and I also felt like, um, this isn't who I am. I'm not like, I'm not the bun girl, you know, that's not who I am. And, um, who I am is someone who's, um, and I think Susan, you can, you can, um, kind of attest to this for yourself. I think we've had a conversation about it before, which is I'm more edgy, like Mm -hmm. edgy for me, that means like a short haircut. Um, and so, and I know you were saying that, especially with, um, like tattoos and things like that, but that's all part that all shows and all shows up and what is that so I'm so I'm curious actually what do you think like if I were if I'm going for um an interview Mm -hmm. what would you like say I'm a client that that I just you know uh signed up to work with you and I really need your help for an interview what would your recommendations or what were your what would your questions be yeah I mean when I work with clients in in those kind of situations where, you know, it's an interview. Um, Sometimes you're a little bit more limited with your outfit choices because they're depending on what job you're interviewing for, what the business is like, what the expectations of the dress code are like for that specific business. Um, You can be more limited than others. You know, sometimes it can be like really conservative. Sometimes you have more flexibility, but no matter how conservative or how limited you are with your choices, I would say still try to find opportunities to weave in parts of yourself into your outfit. So even if like you're showing up in a full suit and you know you're a man you can still bring out that personality by the color shirt that you choose the tie that you choose or even like finding some socks that like really resonate with you as like trivial as it sounds it's still allowing that like little bit of yourself to come through and then obviously if you have more flexibility um with your like attire that you can wear for the interview, then, you know, by all means, embrace it and go for it while still looking professional and staying true to yourself. Yeah. And I think that really goes for, like, I know a lot of entrepreneurs that are doing speaking engagements and showing up that way too. You take, you're taking all of that into consideration. Mm -hmm. Um, But I know that we're heading towards the end of our um, interview. So um, I just want to say for those of you who are going through that process, you're feeling nervous, um, I do have a free gift online for you. It's go- called Going From Dreading Your Day to Loving Your Day. You can go uh, to my website, workyoulovenow.com to grab that. And um, Susan also has something for you guys. 
I do. I have a free webinar that I'm hosting on February 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And all of that information is um, available on my website and all my social media platforms. Um, the title of the webinar is From Wardrobe Overhaul to Refreshed Closet, How to Look and Feel Confident in Every Situation. So we're going to talk about everything wardrobe related. You can ask questions at the end, all sorts of good stuff. Awesome. Awesome. Well, definitely guys check that out. Um, Susan doesn't do free trainings, free webinars very often. So this is an opportunity. Um, and if you need, uh, I'll be sharing all of her, the links and the information. So don't worry if you, you're like, I don't know her handle. I've got you. It's in the description. Um, and we will see you next week for the stress less career show. Thank you guys. Thank Thanks. You, Carly. <laughs>